How's it going, everybody? Uh, gonna do an unboxing video on a uh, Washburn replica Southern Cross that I just arrived today. I found it on Craigslist, and I'm gonna make this a playing guitar. So one day I'll have a actual Washburn Boogie Street um, cross, uh, but I just didn't feel like you know trying to save up and paying five to what eight grand for a guitar that might actually see some stage use sometime in the future. So. One day I'll have something like that, but so far the uh, Chinese, instead of dime, the, the chime version uh, will have to do, but it'll be pretty cool. Um, this one was upgraded by the previous owner with the Floyd Rose and uh, pickups and stuff like that, so here's to see how it sounds, but uh, let's get into the unboxing. Let's check this thing out. So now that it is all unpacked, let's... Uh, take a first look at the uh, China Cross. I'm very uh, curious to see how this looks in person and then like I said earlier I'm gonna compare it to my uh, Washburn Funky Monkey which is sitting right there or my Dean Slime. Boom. That is absolutely beautiful. So here's the uh, China Dime Washburn Southern Cross in all its glory. Um, so far I'm pretty happy with it. I just threw a quick tune on it to uh, D sharp tuning um, plus a little bit, um, which is pretty much what I usually play in. And it sounds all right so far. I haven't plugged it in yet. I'm gonna actually do that for the first time on video for you guys. Um, the craftsmanship isn't that bad, to be honest with you, for it being a little China copy cross and lays are real pretty let me get some uh, sunlight on it for us there you go it looks a lot smaller and a lot farther down than a real washburn cross which is to be expected the uh flame top looks actually pretty decent in the sunlight um overall even though it's not a real one it's a replica i'm pretty happy with it like i said i'm gonna use and abuse this thing um as much as possible and then when I can afford a real one and I'll definitely source that probably use that as like an at-home wall hanger piece and take this thing out and just thrash on it the uh, neck and lays are pretty interesting it's kind of goofy with how tiny the crosses get down here um, but all in all it's not too bad and there is not a cross on the first fret which a lot of people look at if I could I would get rid of, you know, the dime bag Daryl signature model dime washboard thing. Just leave these little pieces because they're pretty cool in their own right. But I'm not trying to pawn it off as a real one by any means. Um, that's just not who I am. Plus, you got to always, you know, respect the greats and the great guitars. The body, I compared it to my uh, Funky Monkey Washburn, and it's actually a lot thicker. <laughs> um, so it's going to be interesting to get used to it. The uh, binding, I got to rotate it so the sunlight hits it. It's pretty clean. It's pretty straight, which is all we could uh, ask for. And then here's the back. Let me uh, kick it around so you can see it better in the light. All in all, honestly, it's a really pretty looking guitar. I'm pretty stoked to have it uh, in my possession um, and stuff. Pretty curious to see how it's going to sound. The uh, previous owner, I think they put a Bill Lawrence in the bridge and a Seymour Duncan um, in the neck. And they also changed out the uh, Floyd licensed to a uh, shower which is pretty cool as well um but yeah let's go plug this in and see how it sounds so i got it all plugged in um, i'm using a gx 20 m crate with an mxr6 band and a metal zone mt2 not the best setup but it's what i have so it's what i use um i'm gonna start it on the clean channel with the neck pickup i'll throw on some chorus and reverb just for this first track to see how it kind of reacts with it 
and then I'll be able to just go through the list. Hopefully the uh, audio comes through okay enough. Let's try it out, guys. Let's see how she sounds. <laughs> Kill the chorus, drop the reverb just a little bit, and we'll go up. Neck and bridge. Mess that up, it's alright though. pick up Let's see how this sounds <laughs> it sounds all right it plays a little different like i said the body's a lot thicker um so i gotta get used to that i don't know scale length feels a little weird but it seems close enough so we'll run it but uh yeah let's uh <laughs>
frets out a little bit, so I gotta work on the truss <laughs> Sound too bad, honestly. Um, I need to play the truss rod a little bit. Like you guys heard, it's uh, fretting out, um, which I don't know, it gets by, but I gotta look into that um, and then adjust the height of the pickups so that they don't, you know, bottom out when you're using the Floyd. But other than that, for a little uh, China replica wannabe, I'm kind of impressed by it. It's actually kind of cool. Um, yeah. What I would personally recommend, though, is honestly, it does not play as good as my Washburn over there. But this is all you can afford at the end of the day. A guitar is a guitar. It's just a piece of wood with uh, either a sound hole or some electronics to it. If this is all you can afford, um, go ahead and do it, especially if you plan on getting um, real ones down the road. Just don't go around and tell everyone that it's a real Washburn when it's not. Um, that's not my plan for this little, this little chime variant. But it plays. It makes sounds. It's going to be a good little guitar to uh, be um, used and abused. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty impressed by this little uh, clone. but uh, Or wannabe clone, I should say. Um, but yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Um, if you want, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to do some more comparison videos with uh, Cross and then the actual Bean Slime and my Funky Monkey number 16. Um, just to see how they you know, compare and contrast and things like that. Plus uh, little covers here and there and stuff of that nature but hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and uh get your pull appreciate you